Palpitations are the sensation that people feel when they are aware of an abnormal heartbeat. Some people describe the heartbeat as being too fast or too slow or irregular. Some other people describe the sensation of feeling an extra heartbeat or a skipped beat. These are also sensations of palpitations. There are a number of different causes for palpitations. Some are due to problems outside the heart, others due to problems within the heart. So problems outside the heart include problems such as when people are overly tired or if they take too much caffeine or alcohol. Some other people may have problems with hormones such as thyroid problems or people going through the menopause can sometimes also experience palpitations. Cardiac causes of palpitations include uh, problems such as uh, problems with heart muscle disease or patients with coronary artery disease and previous heart attacks are also at increased risk of having palpitations. Another common cardiac cause of palpitations include those patients with heart valve problems or heart muscle problems. In some people who are born with an abnormal heart problem such as a hole in the heart or extra electrical conduction problem in the heart such as an accessory pathway they can also experience palpitations in later life. There are a number of different types of palpitations depending on where in the heart muscle the problem is coming from. So palpitations that come from the upper chambers of the heart, also called the atria, can include problems such as atrial fibrillation or atrial tachycardia. Some people have a problem called SVT which is, stands for supraventricular tachycardia. These sound like long words, but in fact they uh, can signify underlying heart rhythm problems. Problems from the lower chambers of the heart, called the ventricles, include things like VT or ventricular tachycardia, or ventricular ectopic beats, or extra heartbeats. These tend to be potentially more dangerous and may need more urgent medical assessments. The diagnosis of palpitations can be difficult because the palpitations may come and go and by the time the person sees the doctor, the heart rhythm may be back to normal. Generally, the doctor will take a careful history and examine the patients and then do some simple investigations of the heart to see if there's any underlying problem or to try to pick up the heart rhythm problem. So the doctor may do an ECG to begin with. Even if the patient has a normal heart rhythm at the time, the ECG can give some very important information. The doctor will then often do a heart muscle scan, also called an echocardiogram, which is a simple ultrasound examination of the heart to try to look for abnormal heart muscle thickness or if the heart is enlarged or look for any valve problems within the heart. The doctor will then try to detect or pick up the palpitations when they next occur to see if there is a true heart rhythm problem. There are a number of ways the doctor can do that, depending on how often the palpitations happen. So the commonest way is to ask the patient to wear a heart monitor for 24 hours. This is also called a halter monitor. And the person will wear it, go to do their normal activity, go to work and bring it back the next day. And the doctor will download the information to see if we can detect any abnormal heart rhythms during that time. In some people who have palpitations occurring less frequently, for example about once a month, the doctor may decide to do a different, use a different machine called an event recorder where the patient carries the monitor for about a month and when they feel the palpitations they then put it on the chest wall and try to document the palpitations at that time. The treatment for palpitations really depends on how serious the palpitations are and how much they affect in the person's life. So for example, people with benign palpitations due to anxiety or stress or uh, problems with their lifestyle can just be given reassurance and lifestyle changes. Other people with heart problems that cause the palpitations need more spe specific treatments and that can include treating them with medication or some people with a very abnormal heartbeat may need something called an electrical cardioversion to reset the heart back to normal. Others with more severe types of palpitations where medicine is not effective or if they have side effects to medication may need special treatment called catheter ablation for the palpitations. The medication that we can use to treat heart rhythm problems include drugs called antiarrhythmic drugs. 
Generally, these are used to stabilize the heart rhythm problem to try to prevent the palpitations from happening. Some other medicines are used to treat potential complications of palpitations, and that can include blood thinning medicine to lower the risk of stroke. For example, in people with atrial fibrillation that have increased risk of blood clots forming in their heart. Electrical cardioversion is the uh, treatment that doctors use to reset the heartbeat when it's irregular or abnormal all the time. That involves the patient coming to hospital, usually for about half a day, having a general anaesthetic, and the doctor will then give a little electrical shock from outside the heart, and that resets the heart back to normal. We often use that in people with atrial fibrillation, where we want to reset the heart and then start some regular medicine to try to keep the heart rhythm normal. Some patients with palpitations that don't respond to medicine and still have ongoing symptoms need to have a special technique called electrical ablation to try to treat the heart rhythm problem. This is a form of keyhole surgery and usually involves passing some thin electrical wires from the leg up to the heart. The heart rhythm doctor will then try to locate the part of the heart that's causing the palpitations and then use a bit of electrical energy to destroy that tiny part of the heart muscle. This can be a very effective treatment for some types of palpitations. For example, patients with extra electrical pathways in the heart, or some people with abnormal heartbeats originating from one spot of the heart muscle. Catheter ablation for heart rhythm problems is a relatively safe procedure, but it does involve putting some electrical wires into the heart, so there are small risks. Usually the risk is around 1% and the risks depend on other factors such as how old the person is or whether they have any other heart problems. Usually the person comes into hospital on the day of the procedure and doesn't eat any food from midnight the night before. And the procedure takes between two to four hours depending on the type of heart rhythm problem that we're treating. The patient usually stays for one night and can be discharged the next day if there are no problems. Palpitations are very common and not everybody needs to have uh, treatment for them because they may not be serious. Generally, I would say if you're older or have a history of heart problems such as heart attack or stroke, then it's better to see your doctor early because the palpitations may be something serious. But on the other hand, if you're younger and the palpitations are infrequent, then you may not need any specific treatment but just reassurance. If in doubt, I would advise you to see a doctor uh, to avoid any problems.